とじめ点出発進行目黒テイハツ Hello and welcome to the Yamanote. I'm Alex, and today we are going to learn how to use the original Dance the Go controller from the PlayStation with the latest Dance the Go Hasiro Yamanote SM for the PlayStation 4 and Switch. Dance the Go is finally back with a brand new game just released for the PlayStation 4 and for the Nintendo Switch, and just recently. A new dedicated controller was announced to be in development by Suiki. And hey, if you want more controllers like this in the future, please go and support Suiki and buy that controller when it's released. But until that moment, what can we do to recreate the thrills of train driving in Japan and to enjoy the full Dance the Go experience? Well, what we are going to do is bring that emotion back by having the original uh, PlayStation controllers like this and this and even the Hori Mamekon being recognized by modern game systems like the PS4 and the Switch using for that an Arduino board and a Titan 2 and using the method developed by Eddie Lau uh, the link to his blog is in the description. And for that, we need a Dance the Go PlayStation controller, an Arduino Leonardo board, six female to male jumper cables, and a Titan 2 game device. Important note I have tested this method with the PS4 version of the game. However, the basics in regarding the operation of the Titan 2 are the same for Switch. Um, for the PS4, and I will include below all the relevant information for the Switch. Also, if you have Titan 1, I'm also including in the description the scripts developed by Mark Riera. And with that said, let's start. Super 5! First, what we are going to do is connect the Dance the Go controller to the Arduino Leonardo board, using for that the female to male jumper cables. You can see in the diagram the distribution of the pins in the PlayStation controller. So start connecting the PlayStation controller pin 1 to the Arduino Leonardo digital port 8, pin 2 to the digital port 9, pin 4 to the GND port, pin 5 to the 3.3 volts port. And very important, make sure it's connected to the 3.3 volts port and not the 5 volts port, since that can be harmful for your dancer controller. Remember, 3.3 volts. Next, pin 6 goes to the digital port 11 and pin 7 in the controller to the Arduino Leonardo digital port 10. And as a side note, since the process is the same for the three different controllers, and you might be a person of culture who enjoys using the appropriate one handle or two handle controller corresponded to the train controller scheme, I recommend that you use a PlayStation core extension cable, like this one. So one side is attached to the Arduino Leonardo and the other is free for swapping in the controllers. And by the way, which one is your favorite dance controller? Tell me in the comments. <laughs> well, next, what we are going to do and I have all the controllers over there. What we are going to do is program the Arduino Leonardo to translate the inputs of the PlayStation controller to a USB HID signal, understandable for uh, by the Titan 2. For that, we need uh, to install the Arduino Integrated Development Environment, the Arduino IDE that it's available for download at the Arduino website. 
link down in the description. Proceed to install it and you may need to fix the RFDUT install after that. For that, you just go to the RFDUT site, download the area and download the file indicated below. Unpack it. You'll get two files to replace the indicated files. Just replace them and that's done. And next, you can continue downloading and installing the following libraries the PSX library and the Arduino joystick library. Links down. For that, you just open the Arduino IDE, go to a sketch, install library, in, sorry, include library and add zip library. And that's done. We can now connect the Arduino Leonardo using a USB micro B type cable. And if you are experiencing problems with the connection of your Arduino Leonardo board, make sure it's connected to the 2.0 USB port. Now you can select the Arduino Leonardo board in tools, board, Arduino Leonardo, and next we'll install the modified PS PSX to USB script, link down the below. Copy the full script into Sketch and run it. Congratulations, you have just programmed your first Arduino board. And with our Arduino Leonardo board freshly programmed, we are going to introduce it to its new partner, the Titan 2 gaming device, and create a program so that they can work in tandem. Go to the Titan 2 website, consultoner.com, and there download the GTurner 4 software to allow us to implement the program. Once you have the software in your computer, you'll connect the Arduino Leonardo to port A, the PS4 controller to port B, and the Titan 2 to the computer using the program uh, port in the back of the device, the PROG port. And important, you need to use a power micro USB cable just like the ones used for charging the PS4 controllers. Next stop is telling the Titan 2 the pattern correspondence between the Densa controller and the PS4 controller. And we are going to do that by creating a GPC file with a script from GitHub. Open the GTurner 4 software go to create a new GPC script file, the icon under file in the top left, and copy the script from GitHub. Verify it and save it. After that, we drag the file to one of the slots in the Titan 2. You can even see that everything is going good by pressing the buttons on the Densa controller and seeing the PS4 side reacting to that. And once everything is done, it's time for a test run. Launch the game without the Titan 2 controller connected, just a regular PS4 controller. Remember to set the controller scheme to operation type standard and input type direct. Once it's done and with the game running, connect the Titan 2. This time you need to connect the power USB micro cable to the output port, this one and the other end to a USB port in your system. And remember, Arduino Leonardo to port A, PS4 controller to port B. Once this is done, select the slot in your script with these buttons, uh, confirm that it's loaded, and you're set. Time now for the full Dance Go experience with a genuine Dance Go controller. Thanks for watching, please subscribe, and stay tuned for more Dance the Go content. And until the next time, thank you for traveling with the Yamanote and have a nice rest of your trip.